Hello there YouTube, and welcome to the seventh episode of Comic Corner Review. Today's topic, Transformers Armada. Now, I only have six issues of a story from the comic book point of view, but it's a different take on what's known to most Transformer fans as the Minicon War. And key different. Some some things are different. Some things have remained the same, regardless of like which for which way the story went, like TV wise, or um, comic book wise. Um, in this comic book, we see old favorites like Megatron and Optimus. Um. Scavenger and Starscream, uh, Red Alert, just to name a few. But the story of how the Minicon War, I guess you could say the comic book, makes you wonder how it began. Um, some, well, long ago in the Transformer universe, the Minicons didn't just ex just appear out of nowhere. Apparently, according to the book, they were living on Cybertron and small villages. But uh, like like always, when whenever they're up to no good, the Decepticons had at one one by one conquered each Minicon village and took the Minicons. Now. The key dif the key differences between the comic book storyline and the cartoon storyline was very simple. Uh, one, the war didn't take place millions of years ago, and uh, and then like they had a ceasefire or something. No. Two, the time in which the war between the Autobots and the Decepticons in this uh, story of the war began. Right around the time when Red, Carlos, and Alexis were basically in school. Um, one story, um, another is that, well, the members of each team. In the beginning, there were only in the beginning of the uh, Minicon War. If you've seen Transformers Armada, there were only four Decepticons, three Autobots. Among the Decepticons were Megatron, Starscream, Demolisher, and Cyclonus. For the Autobots, it started out with three Autobots, which were Optimus, Hotshot, and Red Alert. However, apparently in the st in the comic book storyline. If I'm right, I haven't read the comic book in a while, but, um, there are, um, four or five Autobots, um, Optimus Prime, Scavenger, Hotshot, Red Alert, and Smokescreen, if I'm right. I I honestly gotta say I I like what Dreamwave did. I honestly gotta say I, I I like how Dreamwave basically said, you know what, we're gonna take the story of the Minicon War. We're gonna keep we're we're only gonna change certain things. Everything else remains the same. Case in point, the Minicon partners like Jolt, Longarm. And uh, Liftor, not to mention Sparkplug and Leader One, there and here. Uh, another key difference is um, some of the Minicon weapons, like uh, the Star Saber Sword, was a uh, was not one. You see, one key difference was the Minicons were not designed for war. Apparently. The Minicons could transform into weapons in the uh, cartoon version of the war. 
But in the in the comic book version, ladies and gentlemen, they were modified to become or like uh, items by the Decepticons. Now, I don't know how the full story of the uh, Manicon War through the comic books go. Um, I'm going to try my best to get a hold of, uh, of the issues. But, um... Um, I'm, expe I'm expecting things to go s somewhat similar to the way they went with um, the cartoon. Where the, the Autobots and the Decepticons fight on Earth, gather as many, many cons as they can. Uh, Starscream is betrayed by Megatron. He joins the Autobots, but then, he, they, then he's forced to betray them. And... Uh, Alexis sees that Starscream really Starscream is is the only Decepticon is worthy of redemption. Um, Starscream sacrifices himself to um, unite the Autobot and Decepticon armies against Unicron, and we see the birth of Galvatron. So. Yeah, like I said, um, if you're a fan of Transformers Armada, I guess you could say this is another spin on the Minicon War. Uh, as you can see, I got a, I guess you could say, a, a holographic uh, co uh, issue of the first issue of uh, Transformers Armada. Um... I give Transformers Armada from Dreamwave Comics four out of five stars. Because, one, a very good story. Doesn't deviate from it too much. Two, by switching up some of the aspects of the story, it's more interesting. Case in point. Uh... Scavenger never joined. Scavenger never worked for the Decepticons as a spy. Um, during in the comic book, he when Optimus and the Autobots came to Earth, he was with Optimus. Um, that's another and that's another thing. Um, how they change up things. How do you say, okay, this happened in one medium, let's go ahead and change it to where something like this happens. Case in point, um, some of the mini cons like Jolt, Highwire, Grindor, Long, uh, long Arm, instead of being awakened from, like, panels, they jump through a warp gate, end up on Earth, and, um, come face to face with uh, Alexis, Brad, and Carlos. Not to mention this I couldn't even put the store I couldn't even put the books down today after I got home from uh, my karate practice. Uh what can I say? Like I said I give Transformers Armada from Dreamwave comic books four out of five stars. Well, this is Anime Watcher 1001, Stacy Gartner saying thank you for watching Comic Corner Review, and I'll see you next week. Later.